sentences I didn't expect to ever have to say when I started doing this vlog six months ago. It is currently six minutes past 11 on a Monday morning. I'm on my way to the BBC Radio Cambridge studio where in nine minutes time I'm doing an on-air audition to become the new Peter United match day announcer. I'm into the final five. In theory there's five of us arriving. I assume, I don't really know what to expect. And the way it's been explained to me is that the best three, or the final three, are each gonna do a pre-season friendly each as a next stage of the audition process with, again in theory, I suppose the best of those three going on to become the posh match day announcer for this coming football season. That's all the information I have. I don't know anything more than that. Um, it's now eight minutes until I'm supposed to be there. I think I know where the studio is, but I've never been there before, so I might just get lost and not turn up. But if I make it there, I'm probably going to be late, so I'll, if they let me bring the camera in, I'll see you in there. Right, audition done. I think it went quite well. Um, I, what I'll try and do, they said it will be on the BBC iPlayer Listen Again thing, so I'll try and get home and find the clip and insert it for you here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our final contestant. Will you please welcome to the microphone, and this fellow's tall, uh, Kevin Chapman, everybody. Kevin Chapman, I'll let you move the microphone up there, Kevin. Uh, stand, uh, you stood on the star. I'm stood on the staff. Thank you. I took a while to draw that this morning because my uh, my art's not the best. Uh, and welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Chapman. Um, I, I like the fact you call me Mr. Chapman. I am a teacher uh, in Peterborough. Um, I've been a posh fan for 26 years. 20, yeah, 26 years now. 26 years. Um, took, that takes me back to when I was eight, I think. So got involved just in time for Wembley the first time round. Yeah. And have been hooked ever since. You were there with Mr. Turner and Mr. Charler. I was. That. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Ebden, who never, never tires of telling everybody that without that pass, <laughs> Kenny wouldn't have scored that goal. Um, all right, so your heritage is there. Uh, why do you want this job? Um, it's... I've, I've always been looking to try and find a way to get involved in something to do with football, something to do with the club. Yeah, that's... Six or seven years ago, I even did the research for the Football Manager video game for Posh for a little wow. while. So anytime anything to do with Posh comes up, I try and throw my my name into the ring. And uh, yeah, this this appeared. So why not go for it? It fits in with some of the stuff I do in my spare time as well. I do a bit of podcasting, a bit of YouTube stuff. So seems seem to be a nice fit. All these competitors, Bob, they've all got a passion for the Posh, haven't they? <laughs> I tell you what, now, working behind the scenes very hard. Mm. They have, and they've got to have a passion for Posh, number one. This is going to be tough, Phil. This is going to be it tough. It is, and that's why I've got you involved, Paul, because <laughs> I don't know how to make any difficult decisions. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> The cop out. Basically. Good news is that this guy's a teacher, so he can help you with the art. Well, that was a, that was a, that was an issue for me right at the top there. The, the fact he said he was a teacher, I just wondered. Mm, mm, you, no, you never can tell. So uh, uh, you stood in the middle of Peterborough United football ground. Okay, uh, it, it's a big game. It's Peterborough United going for promotion up against. Another team. Yes. We don't know, do we, who's going to be top of the league. Let's, yep. say, let's, say, let's say MK Dons. MK, oh, it's a biggie. Uh, and uh, 15 school children run on the pitch and, and they, they, they go, Sir, 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 it's your kids. I've just got to do the teacher look. Which, the teacher look is what you get the first day when you're on your teacher training. So just give them the look and they're going to go and sit back down. Oh, yeah. Petrified yeah, of you. Yeah, exactly. Just a little glare <laughs> over the top of the glasses and they're gone. And you carry on regardless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're all good, aren't they? They're all good. Uh, right, I'm going to get you to read out number three. Now, this is this is your final bit uh, okay. uh, of your audition. Number three, you're in the middle of the pitch and your announcement time. Off you go. This is an announcement for Peter Burrow. You're needed for a photograph with the mascots. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> to, be, to be fair to Peter Burrow, he, he does go missing a lot. In <laughs> um, he, he, he is very much like Mr. Posh in that respect. You tell him to be somewhere at a yes. time, he'll never be there. They're and perhaps somewhere together. That, must, that, that announcement could happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a possibility. Well, Kevin, thank you for auditioning today. Thank nice you. to meet you. And ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Chapman, a round of applause. Uh, if you, you think Kevin has the voice for Posh on match day, then text Chapman to 8133. So, number contestant number one, Fuller to 8133 on text. Contestant number two, Brown to 8133. Or Chapman 
to 81333. Don't forget to put the word Cam before you put the name, okay? So Cam Fuller, Cam Brown, or Cam Chapman. Now I'm going to work on the assumption you just heard the clip and I was able to find it. If not, I mean, it was probably only on air for about a minute, minute and a half. Asked a couple of questions, practiced reading something out. There was three of us who turned up. There are apparently five people who are interested and they need to narrow it down to just three. I'd like to think the fact that the three of us are there is going to stand in our favour, but the other two are going to do it over the phone, I think, at some point. But would you believe it? My big advantage, I haven't been able to capitalise on, because my big advantage is the fact that they're doing a text vote thing there now. I don't know how much of a, an impact the text vote is going to have on it, but here I am, 5,000 Twitter followers, and I don't have my phone with me. I've left my phone in the car, so I can't tweet out to you lot now and tell you to all text in and tell them how great I am. So, fingers crossed the text vote doesn't hold much sway, or if it does, people like what I have to say anyway. But it was an experience I've never been on the radio before. Got to meet a couple of people who I've sort of run into a few times before over the years, being in, involved in and around the posh. But it was really cool to sit down, have a chat with a few people, make my live radio debut. What else do I need to do now? We've had TV, we've had radio, we've had books, we've been in a newspaper, YouTube, podcasting. Need to find a new, a new career goal. But no, that went well, I think. I was really nervous beforehand. More nervous than I expected to be. But the other two candidates were very strong as well. Um, it was, I was kind of hoping that ah, I'll be the only one who's ever used a microphone before and perhaps some of them won't turn up, but there's people with experience of public speaking, there was a journalist was one of the other two, so we'll see. Fingers crossed we get to do one of the pre-season friendlies at least, because if nothing else, that'll be a really cool vlog. Yes, I... <laughs> there you go, I've been, I've been spotted, that's right. Um, but it is now 20 to 12, I left work an hour ago. I wouldn't know if they've noticed I've gone because I've left my phone in the car, but hopefully they've not noticed. Now I need to try and sneak back in and hope there wasn't a fire drill while I was gone. Wish me luck. I really hoped when I recorded that earlier today that by now I'd know and I'd be able to end the story of today's vlog with her. And I'm doing the first pre-season friendly on! But no, I've not heard back from them yet, so I guess there were two other candidates, so they need to talk to them over the phone. They're not eliminated from the process just because they couldn't make it into the studio today. I only made it in by the skin of my teeth, as you saw. Thought I might have to do mine over the phone anyway. So, we'll see. I, I think it went quite well. If you want to listen to the full broadcast, follow the link in the description below. It was a three-hour show, though, so to find my bit, it's about... Hold on, I've got it on my screen next to me. About two hours, 25 minutes in. Um, hopefully I'll have managed to figure out how to get the bit and put it in. Uh, you'll know if I did, because you'll have heard it already as part of today's vlog, but the, the full segment is probably 10 or 15 minutes long, not just the bits that I'm doing. Um, I would suggest you probably don't text to vote if I've included that bit, because I would say almost certainly that that is closed now. And from the, what they were saying afterwards, I don't know how much weight is going to be put on the, the text vote that comes in anyway. They seem to be very much making the decision amongst themselves, the, the three guys who were there as part of the interview slash audition process, if you like. The guy who's been doing match day announcing for the last nine years, the guy who did it for like 20 years before that and was the match day announcer when I was a kid and the press officer for the club was there as well. So three quite high up folk in the whole world of Peter United Football Club. I know it's been a very football heavy vlog today, but you know, I got the fun of being on the raid on live radio for the first time. That was that was good. I enjoyed that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I am gonna leave it there because I have got I mean, I've finished all of my course rep moderation now, apart from two that seem to have gone missing in the post making their way through to me. So that's one weight off my shoulders, but I have still got a lot of exam marking to do. I haven't touched it since Friday. It's due on Thursday. I've got over a week's left to do. It's gonna be a challenge. And if I do manage to find a gap in any of that, as well as doing my normal football manager video, I'm also taking tentative early steps into trying to come up with a t-shirt to commemorate non-Leeds legend. Either coming to an end, or ending in its current form for this season. So I don't, if anyone's got any Photoshop skills and wants to attempt to put something together, ideally I'd like something that could be um, on a t-shirt, on a mug, 
and doesn't necessarily have to be just as boring as non League Legend. Um, it could be something cool that was to do with a save, or the. I still quite like the idea of doing the football manager style mugs with the the best, the, the real good players from the save um, on one side with their number on the back and a little biography about them below. I think that might be got, or maybe a list of everything they won. That could be quite cool, but takes a little bit more design work as well. So if we want stuff this week which is what people are asking for, tie it in with Tottenham ending as part of non to Legend, um, it's going to be fairly basic or made by someone else. Otherwise, it might be something that has to wait until the summer and then is it really worth doing if I'm not doing it until August and the save has been done for a month at that point. Let me know what you think. And um, oh, I need to get on. I don't want to do any exam marking. Thank you for watching. I shall see you tomorrow when I probably won't be on the radio. But hopefully you might have some good news about moving further forward in the process as a whole.